So I think the respect which each industry is giving and getting. You know, people in Pakistan are talking about Malayalam movies. <coughs> and um, and when did we see the South Indian heroes transcending to North India? It was never allowed before. It's so easy now and it's it's because of the talent and what they're doing. Great. Sir, sir, it was always there, if you look at the history of Indian cinema, like Al Kapoor, Jitendra, all these people started from the South, and South Indian films are very big in the, in, the, in the 60s and 70s. And if you look at the biggest musical that has come in Indian cinema, it was always from the South. I mean, late native South Indian actors. Yeah, true. <laughs> so, I mean, Shivaji Ganesh was big, MGR was big, they all were there, but now looking at South Indian cinema and trying, to, okay, what are we doing wrong? The Hindi cinema is thinking, there's something wrong about us. And I feel what is wrong about Indian cinema, Hindi cinema today is that they started making packages. You know, last 10 years, that's what they did. The middle class Indian is no more a subject of discussion in Hindi cinema in the last 10 years. Probably last, Gajini is a film where we saw a middle class girl, you know. So you've taken a fair amount of fair share of people from your storytelling, they are obviously going to go against you. And look at, uh, if you look at uh, regional cinema, regional literature is rooted, regional cinema's writing is rooted in regional literature. So whether literature is strong, you have strong subjects and you have strong cinema. That's what I think is lacking in Hindi cinema right now. Time to look back. And um, uh, writing is very strong in, in, in the cinema and a lot of literature influence is making, you know, a film. Like a, one element of a film become a, become a point of, uh, of a journey. Manimal Boys, for example. You take one element, 30 years ago, you see one song, and that is become a, become a film, filmic idea. So those are the things that are happening. People are like flourishing. So it's, it's so beautiful to be part of that uh, movement, I would say. Hi, Hi sir. Hi, sir. Namaste. Anil here. Here it is, Anil, yeah. from Karnataka. So, uh, being a star, being a hero, uh, you dedicated six years for uh, Adu Jivitam. What made you to dedicate your six years for this film? Losing a weight and gaining a weight. Being a star, you'll be busy with other films also. Even though you managed with your date for Adu Jivitam, what made you to dedicate yourself for this? What made me dedicate six years to this film? The pandemic. Uh, even losing a weight uh, and the, uh, gaining that. The pandemic, actually. Okay. Or that was never meant to be six years. Uh, we were supposed to finish shooting in two years, which is a reasonable time frame for a film like this. I mean, you will need at least two years to do a film like this with an actor going through such a big transformation. And that plan was very set, and you know, we were all very comfortable with it. But then the pandemic happened, and then uh, we had to sort of change locations in the last minute. So we started in Kerala, then we went to Jordan, then we had to come back, then we restarted in Algeria, then came back to Jordan, then came back to Kerala. So all this put together just went on for a while. Uh, but having said that, uh, now when I see the film, it's all worth it. You know, I, I have absolutely no regrets. Uh, it's, it's all worth it. What is my six years? There's a person sitting next to me who's given 16 years. So, you know, what am I complaining about? <laughs> <laughs> 